Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from The Sup Company and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the Fanatic 10.4 Fly Air Premium for 2021. So here it is, the Fanatic 10.4 Fly Air Premium for 2021. And yes, this board is a premium board, not only in terms of name, but price point, and then also construction. And it's duly warranted the price point because this board is an exceptional quality product. At 10.4 inches overall length and 33 inches wide and five and a half inches thick with 284 litres of volume, the 10.4 Fly Air works for a really broad range of people across a really wide range of situations. Um, but look, let's run you through from the nose down to the tail as we do in all of our sub company videos. And it's very clear early on in the overall shaping of the board that it is an all-rounder with this very wide, uh, all-round nose shaping to it. And it kicks in very, very quickly to its overall width of 33 inches wide. And that means one thing really, masses and masses of stability, which is no bad thing in an all-rounder, and particularly one with relatively high volume like this, which is gonna work very, very well for people up to around 105, 110 kilos. Uh, a nice feature on the nose from Fnatic is a Fnatic branded FCS spin slot. That there has it incorporates a D-ring also, so the board could be fixed to say a pontoon or the back of a boat, or even anchored while hanging to a river, uh, so you don't have to recover the board entirely onto the bank. But there's lots of adapters for that fitment there, so if you're looking to fit an action sports camera or something even like a all-round white light, then you can do that on the 10.4 Fly Air Premium without issue. Really nice, colour-coordinated bungee, and. That's the one thing that Fnatic do do very, very well, is the overall aesthetic look and feel of every single one of their products is really, really top notch. And it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Because not only does this bungee there stand out as a feature, but that colorway ties in to the rail uh, enhancement that runs around the side, and then the overall graphics and fit and feel and finish on the board. And it looks exceptional. The deck pad, Fnatic have always, always put on very, very wide deck pads that cover an awful lot of the area. And that, when paddling, just means one thing, confidence. In that you can be confident that every time you step on this board and wherever you move around on it, there is always grip underfoot. And the grip itself is this diamond cut deck pad with the F of the Fnatic logo embossed into it beautifully as it runs over its entire course. In fact, there's so much attention to detail with the Fnatic product that the F, the integration, it actually cuss, uh, crosses on the colorways from the gray and the black just seamlessly. And it's really that level of attention to detail that you're getting in a premium product like this from Fnatic. A nice addition that is fitted to all the premium range from Fnatic is this uh, female thread in the deck which is there to take a windsurfing rig if you want to go down that route. That really harks back to the heritage that there is in the Fnatic brand, because Fnatic is celebrating 40 years this year as a brand, and that harks back to their windsurfing routes, really what they're best known for, ultimately. But that's a feature in all the premium boards. Another nice touch from Fnatic is a very, very comfortable plastic-free carry handle in the centre of the board. Really nice level of embroidery as well, the Fnatic logo in there, just tied in and really reminding us of the quality of the overall package. As you work your way down the deck pad though, there's masses and masses of deck pad that runs all the way to the tail of the board. And then we've got the valve there incorporating also the D-ring for your leash as well as a level of instructions around how to inflate and deflate the board. It's worth noting as well that this board actually takes 18 to 22 PSI comfortably, and that level of pressure in this board makes sure it's extremely rigid. But look, let's take the board and just roll it over onto its rail, and you can see the underside. And now you can really gain a full insight into the overall width of this board and what that means in terms of its performance. The board itself is very, very stable when paddling on the water. The fin arrangement is a thruster fin arrangement, two smaller outboard fins here, providing a lot of grip if you are playing in small waves, and this board is a lot of fun in small waves. 
Finishing up with a really nice fiberglass fin of uh, 15 and a half centimetres from Fnatic and it just eludes the overall quality of the package. Overall though in 2021, if you are looking for a top spike, uh, all rounder inflatable paddleboard, then really the Fly Air 10.4 Premium has to be on your shortlist for 2021. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not give us a call in the shop or head over to thesupco.com. If you want to stay up to date with all of our videos, then why not subscribe up here? If you want to take a look at our next video though, have a look up here.